Indeed, my Easter bunnies, my chicks, me ducks, did you get an Easter duck? How are you? I can just imagine you snuggling in, having hopefully had a great Easter Sunday, <coughs> no work, unless you're Danny Walker, and a bit of sunshine I hope. Now you're relaxed. You're in a good mood. That was a new intro, brand new intro, filmed by uh, Joe. 
our Kojo no Mai looking lovely and being greatly enjoyed by the bees. So, Easter Sunday. Tunes reflecting rebirth, renewal, peace, harmony, hope, optimism, love, positivity, kindness, and all the other lovely things we can think about, uh, which we do think about while we're together. Well, particularly while we're together. but <laughs> Many times, every day, I hope. I want to kick off with a piece from Time Stand Still. We've just been listening to the title track and uh, I still like it. None of my own tunes are getting on my nerves yet. They rarely do, but it's possibly because I don't listen to them much. And uh, it's one that I made with the wonderful Mr. Inder Goldfinger from Bradford. Absolutely wonderful percussion player. And we call this one the Hidden Shrine.
the hidden shrine. Ah, oh, I've got so much music lined up for you tonight, you guys. Chris Bannister waiting in the wings. Another stream first, another stream world premiere. Excited. You know that one, eh? Wade in the Water. <coughs> Traditional spiritual song. I really love the Ramsey Lewis version of that. Have you heard that? That was uh, that was wild. It became a northern soul hit. You can kind of understand it when you hear it, but that's so unlikely. But great. <laughs> really brilliant. 
Hey, Martin, you okay? Hope Stevie's with you. I hope things are going all right over there. Getting out and about a bit, maybe. Ah. <laughs> Whoa, excited. Mm. So me and Chris, you know, we don't see each other as often as we want to. Chris Bannister, of course. But we keep in touch, you know, check in on each other, as I'm sure you all do, you know. Just make sure that spirits are being kept up in the absence of lots of things. So um, He's got another one ready for us. This is one that we do live, but we've never attempted it virtually. Never attempted it without being in the same room before. So I'm really hoping that over near Preston is the man himself. Good evening, Snake. <laughs> Good evening, Good evening Chris. To all Snake's, uh, Rocking. fans around the world. This is uh, a song of mine. This is called If There's Ever a Time. And let's hope that uh, Snake and myself get to do this on the road soon, actually in person in front of an audience. Cheers. Here's to that. <laughs> Baby, this letter isn't easy to write. I'm sitting here thousands of miles from my home. God knows I miss you tonight. And I just wanted to tell you I still feel the same. And I know the joy. Please 
keep me in mind If there's ever a time If there's ever a time If there's ever a time snake good night yes yes mr christopher chris bannister chris bannister music.com second lockdown album out streaming uh, he does a you do it on facebook live don't you chris every tuesday what a man. Uh, and even though we're so far apart, you know, I get this spine tingling chingle <laughs> just from from that hookup. Thank you ever so much, Chris. While we're in a Chris Bannister mood, we'll have another one in a minute, I reckon. Something from the vaults. Cheers, everybody. Happy Easter again. And cheers to Mick and Anne. Thank you very much. I'm drinking a blonde from Keithley, from Naylor's Brewery. Very tasty, too. Like product placement, isn't it? I'm just saying thanks, Mick. Cheers. <laughs>
I'm like a kitten up a tree. So misty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, come on, come on. One Chris Bannister tune is never enough. This is one of the vaults, one we did a while ago. Come on, mate. Come on, mate. Ah, oh, yes. Hi, Snake. Hi, yeah. everybody. This is Into the Mystic. We were born before the wind Also younger than the sun And the bonny boat was one As we sailed into the mystic Hark now, hear the sailors cry Smell the sea and feel the sky Let your soul and spirit fly into the mystic When that fog home That fog horn blows, I want to hear it. Don't want to fear it not. Want to rock your gypsy soul. It just like in the days of old. And magnificently we will flow. Sailed into the mystic as we sail into the mystic. Cheers, Snake. See you soon. So good. Thanks a million, Chris. And I really hope to see you soon in the real world. And that was real enough for me. Oh, yeah. Thanks, mate. I think we'll have a bit of whistle.
This is uh, a, si a simple tin whistle, but it's, it's in the key of G. I don't know if it would be called a low whistle. It's not as high as the high ones, but it's not as low as most of the low ones. <laughs> what? Who cares? What's in a name? The London Derriere, otherwise known as uh, Danny Walker, Danny Walker boy, <laughs> aided and abetted by uh, Mr. Jeremy Bradford on the piano there. Danny's song, that's what it should be called. So little time, so many tunes. My life has taken on a different meaning since Mike and Richard worked out that in the first 120 streams or whatever, I've done played 323 different tunes. I was actually impressed with myself momentarily. momentarily so I immediately started thinking I wonder if I did them justice this is one um, written by Marcus Miller fantastic bass player I don't know if he's from New York but I think he lives in New York and uh, does all kinds of different things, but um, I know and love him from David Sanborn's band. I've been a David Sanborn fan since the very, very early days. Big influence on my playing. Love him to bits, and uh, 
He had Marcus in his live band for a long time. So this is one that Marcus wrote for Mr. Sanborn. And uh, appropriately enough for us lot, because we're a, we are a soppy old lot, aren't we, on the Snaky Stream? It's just called Straight to the Heart. Sometimes those backing tracks finish too quick. <laughs> I'm just getting going. Uh, such a great tune, that. Top melody. Straight to the heart. What have I reached? A thousand what? A thousand tunes. I don't understand. You okay? Hmm. 
I thought um, being Easter and that, that we should have a hymn and a sing song because I'm always trying to get you guys to sing. And I know you do, but I think you could sing more. <laughs> oh, I've come over all bossy. I've even writ the words out for you for this one. It's a, a hymn which is a hundred years old. But I think a lot of us discovered it like 30, 40 years ago whenever T for the Tillerman came out. Um, so we need Fakey again. He's called Flaky today. But he's edging his way forward. This one only took him 12 goes. It is hard when you're rubbish at something. And each time I play the backing through on the guitar, I have to do it in one. I mean, I know I got Joe to cut it in the middle for that key change, but generally I don't think it looks any good if you can tell that things are in two halves. So I'm determined to get it right-ish to the end. And what hurts really badly is when you fall in the final furlong you know like and I was thinking today I was trying again trying again I was like that spider that what's his name was watching Robert the Bruce and uh, I got nearly to the end and I played some big old blooper like slip of the hand or more likely slip of the brain and I thought do you remember those games you used to find them at a fairground or maybe um, more likely a village fate I think my dad made one once for the, the Cubs bring and buy sales. <laughs> I don't know what it's for. Yeah, but a wire, a small wire ring, and you have to carefully guide it over a sort of thick, bendy wire. And if you touch it, it makes an electrical contact and the, the buzzer rings and you're out and you've lost your threepence. So I used to get quite good at those. You know, steady does it, steady does it. A bit like the egg and spoon race. But that was so bad if you got near to the end and it went buzz. Anyway, <laughs> that's what I felt like today. Uh, yes, Jen, morning has indeed broken on Easter Sunday. Now I've played a thousand tunes. That's a lot of tunes that we've had together. That's very good. Couldn't have done it without my mates and you lot. Mm. So, yeah, I digress. Let's have a good old sing-song together. So there's three verses, but we repeat verse one at the end. So don't think I can't hear you, because I can Right, get me volumes right, and I'm drowning anybody out. Singing, praise for the morning, 
Praise for them springing fresh from the world. Sweet the rain's new fall, sunlit from heaven, like the first dew. Praise for the sweetness of the wet garden, sprung in completeness where his feet pass. singing praise for the morning praise for them springing fresh from the world Thank you, Flaky. I could hear you. Wow. And I'm in North Lincolnshire. You're miles away, you guys. I heard you. Oh, it's got everything, that song. <clears throat> it's got Gardens After the Rain. It's got our friend, Mr. Blackbird. Excellent. Got to sing more. We've all got to sing more, haven't we? Must do another collaboration. Get you all on board. So, a lot of preparation to do for today. You know, guiding Flaky and doing my bits and everything. So, I didn't quite get the touring bit sorted out. So, we're going to leave that till next week. I had another little mini tour got to get it right you know so uh, something to look forward to <laughs> something for me to sort out for, for next week and you know especially on a Sunday you know we, we're so aware aren't we about of the power of music to soothe and to heal and to help with what we're going through that's, in a way that's the whole point of what we're doing together and but words, words are important too. I know I speak a lot of rubbish most of the time, but you know, you don't. You send us lovely messages offline or online, and we've all made new friends. I've made new friends. You've made new friends, I'm sure. And words, they're so helpful. And so I've got some words for you. <coughs> this, is, um, this is Emily Dickinson. It's about hope. Hope is the thing with feathers. 
that perches in the soul and sings the tune without the words and never stops at all. And sweetest in the gale is heard and sore must be the storm that could abash the little bird that kept so many warm. I've heard it in the chillest land and on the strangest sea, yet never in extremity it asked a crumb of me. And I was rereading, I know some of you read it, the, um, the boy and the mole and the fox and the horse. And uh, <laughs> especially the mole is definitely my favorite. And he just comes out with such beautiful words and accidentally wise sayings. Most of them have cake involved, but he says um, almost at randomness. He's talking to the little boy and he says, um, Most of the old moles I know wish they had listened less to their fears and more to their dreams. And then uh, one of them says, Imagine how it would be if we were less afraid. Oh, that's a spine tingler as well, isn't it? words so no official tour but um, I was thinking about what we were talking about last week you know and the whole thing of um, traveling the world in rock and roll and not really seeing much of it and I think any touring musician would tell you the same thing that it's so frustrating you know you're in and out quite often in darkness and you never see the place that you say, oh, I went to um, Cape Town a couple of weeks ago and they, somebody says, what was it like? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it was quite hot, you know. But I think in it, being on the road in the UK, it, it can be just as bad, you know, because, um, I mean, the not seeing places, especially winter gigging. There are hundreds of towns and cities and villages that I've only really visited in the dark so I haven't seen them at all and I often say it you know I say it on stage when I'm there I say oh your town village it looks amazing I'd love to come back when I'm not not working and see it of course I hardly ever do because there's not enough time but and we generally we don't stay over we don't get a hotel or anything for the one-off gigs you know partly um down to budget and partly uh, stuck the homing instinct and the fact that the roads are a bit quieter at night time well they used to be but I was noticing when we were still mobile that um, the powers that be are putting a lot of nighttime roadworks in just to stitch musicians up I mean that's the sole reason they do it you know. and <laughs> so some of the one-off gigs they're so crazy I was thinking about one, uh, Heather Small, we went to Butlin's Minehead. Now you're not missing much. And uh, for a one-off gig. Um, seven hours each way, sound check, gig, pack down, get going. And it was called, guys, you've got to avoid these events. It was called a high school reunion. So it was adults all massively drunken, dressed up as school children or vicars or nuns or farm animals. <laughs> oh, it's a bad scene. And it, it was one of those venues where there's there's no backstage escape route, so um, no stage door. I still have the bitter memory of, after I packed my instruments up, making for the car I had to get through. <laughs> A thousand or so wobbly sheep and swaying nuns and unruly adult school children and oh. anyway <laughs> when I scraped myself out of bed the next morning I was probably in midday I would imagine 
went down to the studio. It's a, it's a different studio, different home. And I meant to, you know, get the saxes going, do a bit of practice, but I sat at the piano instead and I wrote something called Peace. Ten years ago this was. And uh, it's never been recorded. I did make an arrangement for um, strings, which we played live a couple of times. But, um, of this version, this arrangement, this is a, not only a stream premiere, but a world premiere. And I thought we'd finish with it tonight. Me and Fakey and Flakey and Flakey and Fakey. One day, uh, <laughs> Danny could have lent me a vicar outfit. No, thank you. <sighs> no. <laughs> Thought we'd finish it with the tonight. Uh, Joe's worked really hard yet again and been a star. Stitched all this together for me after the flakies had done their work. And, uh, I'll see you before we go. This is called Peace. I do indeed wish you peace, a peaceful week, peaceful life, health and happiness, kindness. It's been, as always, a wonderful pleasure to spend an evening with you. Massive thanks to Mr. Chris Bannister, what a star that gentleman is. I'm sure most of you know him, but check him out if you don't. Chris Bannister, chrisbannistermusic.com. And huge thank you to Joe, who's been working hard this week. And to Sally, who works hard every week. Well, so does Joe, actually. And uh, thank you so much for uh, all you do, for being with us, for chucking money at us, and for being the lovely Easter bunnies and Easter chicks that you are. See you next Friday. Spread the word. Tell your friends. Bring your family. Bring your pets and uh, take good care. Look after yourselves. <laughs>